OK, if I had got in touch with my management, I think presumably their management's through, through when I think. Um, and I'm sure all the band were, were made up. I know Wynn's wife was a big fan as well. So, so I think I just heard about it, I think it was about two days before the gig. And from my management just saying, they've asked if you do it. And I said, definitely. And I'll get to one of the few things I like in music. I get fired, I'm Jake Bogan, and, and not a lot else. You know. So I was, I was made up, and, and I was glad they chose the cutter, you know, because um, the Killer Moon would have been an obvious one. Sorry about that, but, uh, an obvious one, but I just thought, and that, that would have been more comfortable for me in a way because the cutter is harder to sing because it's a lot more, you know, it's full on all the way through. But I actually, for the first time, because I'd heard so many people saying that it, you know, they've seen it on YouTube, it looks great. I actually watched it myself, and I never do that, even if I'm told it's the greatest thing ever. And I actually watched it and thought, it looked, you know, on this YouTube thing, it looked good, you know, and, and it sounded incredible. So, and I was made up the singing sounded really good. Because <clears throat> we can't, we put this tour that we're on at the minute. We put it back three weeks, to, and I thought my voice would, would come pretty much back after a week, but it's still, still kind of, because I had a viral infection and it just lingered a bit, so. Um, but it's getting back to full strength. Um, so that was a great, I, I noticed someone, I think a bunny man fan had said, oh yeah, or oh, it might have been a bunny man site, Ian's warming up for the tour with an arcade fire thing, but I, there wasn't anything like that and I hope people, I hope their side realised that um, I did it just, it was a thrill, big thrill. And it, it's, it's nice after all this time that, it, it, for me it proves the, the relevance of, of what, the, the, those songs we always wrote them to be timeless and, and inspirational I suppose, and, to, and influential as regarding as regards bands that would turn up in the future, you know, that was written in 83, so 31 years ago, and it, it still sounds as dynamic as it did then, maybe more so. <coughs> so, yeah, it was, I was dead happy. Wore a suit for the first time in, since, don't even wear them for funerals anymore. Only the ones in Spain, I think we did a gig together, filmed by MTV, I think it was MTV Europe. And I actually, there was a table tennis table backstage and I offered win a game. But I had my coat on and my bag around me. And he had his t-shirt on, he was ready to go, so he battered me. I mean, he actually does have the advantage of being able to just stand on top of me, almost. But um, it's the first time I've been on stage and felt small. Because he is, he's a big lad, you know. And, uh, but uh, it, was, it was funny. Um, yeah, so he battered me at this game at Tales and so I want to, I want an exact revenge at some point, you know, and offer him a rematch. And the only thing about the venue, Hills Court, I mean, it was great to do that size venue, but it's not the warmest kind of. It's, it's just they, they could do so much more with these venues to, to make them okay to be in, you know. It's like it was basically a hangar. Um, whereas some of the venue, the Liverpool Arena, is it's not known as big, but it, it feels good when you're in there. So that's a, a message. To, are they closing Ells Court Down or something? I think. So they should. But it was a great gig, and, uh, and their fans were great as well. They treated me nicely. So.